In this video, I will show you how I created this render in Blender. Since I use a lot of photo scanned asset scanned with the Peret Pro scanner, I will make a comparison with the reality capture that I use a lot in the past videos. So stay until the end, but let's start with Blender first. I found inspiration when I came across this photo scrolling through Instagram. Find the Instagram link of this great cinematic photographer in the description. In order to get a similar composition, I set the photo as a background image and started placing elements in the scene. I built the house and the surroundings with simple modeling. Tip, the easiest way to create a roof is to press Y in edit mode to separate the selected faces, as for scale, Alt plus E and extrude along normals and we have a roof. The car is a model from the transportation add-on. Given that the angle of the camera corresponds to one from the reference, the fastest way to get the basic texture is to project the background image with the project from view. Since I will cover most of the house with Photoscan Slater, I don't care too much with the bad parts, but you can fix them in the UV editor. Now we need more details on the house and around the house, and the easiest way is to cover as much as possible with photo scans. Until now I used Reality Capture for photo scanning, but now I got Creality Ferret Pro Scanner. The scanner came in this nice box with instructions, so putting it together wasn't difficult. With a weight of only 105 grams, it is a very practical and fits nicely in the hand. You can find more information on the official website, these are some of the things that Creality set apart. Low price but still excellent scanning performance, much smaller and lighter than similar scanners on the market, 0.1 mm accuracy, scanning rate up to 30 fps, anti-shake tracking, face and body scanning, 24-bit full color scanning, excellent performance even in bright sunlight, Wi-Fi 6 wireless bridge. But let's test how it works in practice. Connecting the device in the mobile phone was quick and easy. I connected the device via cable, which is recommendation for Android 11 and above devices. But in the package I also receive a wireless bridge that supports Wi-Fi 6 high-speed data transformation. It is recommended for iOS and Android 10 devices. You can download mobile app from the Play Store or App Store if you use mobile phone and from the official website for a computer. Mobile as well as desktop app is very simple. It offers several settings that make it easy for devices to prepare for the object it will scan. Creality recommends scanning objects from 15 cm square to 2 m square. First, I decided to make a test with a banana. At first, I had a problem with losing tracking, but after reading that under geometry mode the flat and regular shaped object will cause tracking loss while scanning, it is recommended to use texture mode after pasting trackers on the surface. I followed the advice, switched to texture mode and stuck the trackers that come with the device and the scanning went smoothly. After a few minutes, this is the result. I uploaded the OBJ format to Google Drive with one click, that way I can keep my models on the cloud nicely organized in a folder just for ferret photo scans. 
Of course, you can use a cable or Wi-Fi to connect the desktop up and send the scanned objects to the computer. After importing the OBJ file into Blender, this is the final result. I decide to take photos of the same banana from all angles, so I can do a test with Reality Capture also. This is the result I got with Reality Capture. I used 33 photos for Reality with default settings, unfortunately only one sign turned out well. I would probably get a better result with more photos, but at the time of taking the photos I don't have a preview of the 3D model to know where there will be bad parts. What I like most about Ferret Pro Scanner is that during scanning I have a real-time view of the 3D model. If I note a hole somewhere or worse parts, I can easily go back and fix that part. In this way, it is difficult to get a bad model or a model with holes. It is important to note that I am not an expert in either Reality Capture or Ferret Pro and it is certain that I didn't get the best result with either option. The level of micro details I got with Ferret Pro really surprised me. If you look at the markers on the banana, you can even see the outline of the thickness of the paper, which is a detail thinner than 1 mm. This stone wall turned out well with both Ferret Pro and Reality Capture. Based on my experience, Ferret Pro is better for small objects that need to be circled during scanning, while for a large and flat objects, both can give good results. You can find the discount link for Ferret Pro Scanner in the description. Now let's get back to Blender. To use the model in Blender, it is necessary to reduce the high density mesh so that it doesn't slow down your computer, mostly depending on how far model is from the camera. Decimate Geometry or Remesh Modifier helps here. The color map is plugged automatically after import into Blender. Of course, it is recommended to create a roughness and bump map you can get the maps from the color map or some other texture. In addition to the photo scans that I created now, I also find useful some created previously in the asset pack called Stone City, which you can download on Patreon or after subscribing to YouTube Join, together with other assets and tutorials. For lighting. I placed a plane in the background with a projected sky photo from the unsplash.com connected to the emission node. With the matte node, you can control the intensity of the light. Since I wasn't completely satisfied with this photo, I mixed it with this one, which is more dramatic and put focus on the house and creates a vignetting effect. But this photo doesn't have many details. So, I found a third photo of the sky with a nice cloud texture and mixed it with the previous two. In the end, I mixed it all with blue because I want to achieve a teal and orange look. After working hard on the sky texture and when I finally got a sky that I was happy with, I decided on a nighttime misty look and set up a volumetric cube. Volumetric cube made my sky invisible, so all the effort for a nice sky was wasted. But I didn't give up, I continued my search for a better lighting because lighting is the most important part of every render. This time I used blue emissive cubes behind the house with strong light that can go through the volumetric. Blue creates a contrast with red or orange, so it is logical that light with a low black body values go inside the house.
The advantage of CGI over photography is that we can easily cheat. One orange light above the car, combined with more reflective floor, will make rendering more cinematic. If you place a plane with a glass shader under the ground and make depressions in several places, we have puddles. If you want to add a little more details to the puddles, you can add waves with the mass grip texture or small white dots with the noise texture that can represent bubbles or imperfections on the surface of the water. For trees I use models from the botanic add-on and for grass a model from Quixel Bridge. I wanted to create a tree model with Ferret Pro, but the tree is big and it would be necessary to scan a large number of branches and connect them into one tree, which I don't have time for this video, but in the future I definitely will, so I recommend you to subscribe for future projects. I scan this log for test and it works very well for wood textures. Reality Capture also did a good job with this log. This is the final result after post-processing. I talk about post-processing in Blender partly in this video and much more in the videos you can find on Patreon or YouTube join. With one subscription you can unlock over 70 hours of step-by-step -step tutorials, several of them deal with the theme of Night Miss Cinematic Art. You can look for a preview of the tutorials on my website before you take a subscription. Write in the comments if you want to me to record a step-by-step -step tutorial for this project.